Welcome lads, now you may be asking how do I found this game and I'll cover that very quickly. It was a very peaceful evening when my mail sent me a notification. It was from Dream Dust Games. They've been following me for a long while and asked me to review the game. At first I was pretty skeptical, as a lot of YouTubers have been hacked from fake sponsorship. But after getting green light to cover it from my comments, I accepted. The dev even wanted to wind me some money but I turned that down. This what you're looking at is the menu. In my humble opinion, I think it looks somewhat too dark. But that's only my preferences. Okay, okay, let's start with the graphics first. The graphics looks absolutely phenomenal for a 2007 game. Look at them. I've seen better graphics in COD 4 and that was a game released in 2007. Oh my god. It's somewhat horrendous for a mobile game, but I mean, it does have the benefit of being able to be played in a toaster, so I'll give it a pass, I guess. Aside that, the game is actually multiplayer. It's not like a lot of those casual games where you're going up against bot, but the game false advertised it on going against real player. However, the problem with having real players is that you didn't give us a tutorial on how to play the game. So the only thing that you do when you get in a game is that you drop in into a match of real players that already know how to play the game. And the best thing you can do is pretty much run. And this happens. And so the first thing I want the dev to do is give us an actual tutorial aside from running. I, I don't even know what the fuck this button do. They could also add crouching so we can hide and learn the mechanic of the game. And not constantly be chased by an Allosaurus. Like, I just wanna explore the map and learn the mechanic of the game. Why does it have to be so hard to do such a basic task? Please, add crouching. Post editing me here, the game actually got an update and there's actually English speaking people now. How is that possible? I have no idea because everyone I, I met before the update was Russian. Better communication. Friendly. The leaf button is now gone. An add friend button. Chrome button that I have no idea what it does. Your friend will be highlighted on the map. Okay, actually, I didn't know what else was added. Okay, actually, in terms of variety, this game is really good at that. 15 dinosaurs is not a spectacular number, but for a small team studios, 15 is pretty generous. Good job. Also, I just realized you can actually try the dinosaurs for free by watching an ad. It's like sending them money, but without sending them money. Shut up, I don't have a problem with scripting, why do you ask? There's also a day night cycle in this game, holy shit! But the only thing I saw change is pretty much the skybox. The lighting stays the same if I remember correctly. The spawn system is completely RNG based. You either live long enough to see yourself drown or you get killed instantly. Also the dinosaurs can break physics. I still have no idea what the hell the leaf button does. Um, also, the herbivores in this game is completely underpowered, like they serve only as food. In my experience with the Parasaur, they have shit walking speed, shit running speed, and despite their extra health, the <laughs> still get one shotted by the medium sized herbivores. Wonderful. But if there's one thing this game have taught me to learn, is that if you see a problem, the best solution is to just run. Just keep running until the problem goes away, but in this case, if you get chased, yeah, you're pretty much guaranteed to be a past tense. In conclusion, what do I think about this game? I think the game is fun. I mean, graphics aren't the best, but it's not too bad. The balance in this game is completely fucked though. Herbivores are borderline useless, and the game can get pretty grindy, I mean you have to watch an ad just to get money, so you won't be unlocking a T-Rex anytime soon, I'm sure the dev will fix the game soon, 7 out of 10.